I just baptized the mom there, now we're going to baptize the daughter. I met them at Olive Garden today. We were out eating before the meeting. Hey everyone out there, I just want to share something that happened yesterday. We can all learn a lot from. It was really, really beautiful. We are moving to California and yesterday we had a meeting in Mobile, Alabama. And now we are going to have a meeting in uh, Texas and then we're going to have a meeting in Arizona in the next days. But yesterday was the first meeting on the trip here to California and that was in Mobile, Alabama. The meeting was yesterday evening. In the afternoon or in noon, we were out eating lunch together as a team and we went to Olive Garden. And there at Olive Garden, we were sitting eating lunch and I started to talk with somebody who was sitting on the table just beside us. And it was a mom and her daughter. And uh, the mom was uh, grown up in a Catholic church. There's a truck coming here. The mom grew up in a Catholic church like billions of other people. But she had repented and had come to faith in Christ, personal faith in Christ. She even got baptized in water. And she also said, I asked if she's speaking tongues, she said, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, I've learned something, but I'm not sure. I talked with the daughter and the daughter had not experienced God yet. And then I talked with the mom. Okay, tell me about your life. You, you, you repented, yeah, and you got baptized, yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I did not know what it was when I got baptized and, and I, I, I was not sure about repentance. She was not sure about anything almost there. And I asked, what about speaking in tongues? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, I've never experienced God. I feel my life is like this. It, after I came to faith, it have not grown. I have not experienced God. I've not come closer to Him. And I just feel I'm the same place. And there we sat and talked at Olive Garden and, and I think there's millions of people like her out there who have a faith in Jesus but just feel like life is like this and she have not experienced God and then she said is it for everyone to experience God and say yes it is yes it is and I said before I did the website the last reformation my Danish website was actually called Oblio Jesus that means experience Jesus experience Jesus because we can all experience him when the Holy Spirit come in, when we experience God, our life will be transformed. And I talked with them of, of it at Olive Garden, and then they came to the meeting yesterday. And at the meeting yesterday, when I was praying for people in the beginning, I took the mom up. She came up and I prayed for her, and I prayed for the Holy Spirit to come, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. She didn't start speaking tongues. Like she has been speaking a little in tongues, but they, I don't think it was real tongues. And and there was nothing that happened there. And she was like, nothing's happened. Then the daughter came up. And she was like, I really want God. I really want God now. And I'm never, she had never experienced God. And I prayed for the daughter and nothing happened. Nothing happened. Both want God, but nothing happened. But then we went down in the pool and we had the baptism. And I've been preaching a gospel of true repentance, what true repentance is, what baptism water is, and how we should receive the Holy Spirit. And there in the swimming pool at the hotel, they both got changed. They both got born again. They both got set free. They both experienced God, they both got the Holy Spirit. And it's so beautiful. I just want to show you a little clip of the baptism with the mom first. And you can just see in her face how it's like, like she was so blown away. And then you can see the daughter afterward and it was so beautiful. And then I'm going to share a little more. Hey guys, we, we are now in Alabama on the way. And we actually met in the Olive Garden today. Yay! <laughs> So you are in Olive Garden and, and I talk with him on the table beside me. Uh, so, so Which way is there? So are you all there? Last week, 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 last week,
There's freedom and healing taking place there, but look at this. Look at this. Olive Garden today is speaking tongues now. Yes! Oh, but it is a little bit of 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 a You are love. 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 Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this. She got baptized. I just baptized the mom there. Now we're going to baptize the daughter. I met them at Olive Garden today. We were out eating before the meeting. And, uh, and now they're getting baptized for the day. Spirit freedom. It's so beautiful. We had a hotel here. So many people get baptized here in Mobile, Mobile Alabama. Uh, we heard a demon come out before. So, so the guy who worked here, he came and said we should be quiet. But it's, it's, it's sometimes difficult to be quiet when things are happening. But look at this, now we're going to baptize the daughter. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, how was it? Then go down. Go, die, go down. Just go to the down. Die with Christ. Freedom right up. Freedom right up. The whole thing is gone. The whole thing is gone. Every lie, every fear, every fear go right up. Beautiful. God, thank you for the weather. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for doing it. So here you can just see how they experienced Jesus, how they met God, how the Holy Spirit came, how they, their whole life was washed away, he was buried, and God came and their life got transformed. That is why I love the gospel, because the gospel can do something nothing else can do. I prayed for her, nothing happened. She had even been baptized before where nothing happened. She even had people pray for her, with Holy Spirit before, I also prayed for him and nothing happened. And a daughter had been prayed for a few times and nothing happened. But when the true gospel come in and they finally understood what repentance was, something they had been missing. When they went down that water understanding what this baptism is, then the word is true. Acts 2.38 Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and that is the promise for you, your children and everyone who's found out. Everyone. This is the promise from God when we truly repent and then get baptized we shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. We shall see our life being transformed. We will experience Jesus. And I've seen that again and again and again. It is not enough just to lay hands on people and pray for people. Not always. Some people, yes, we see the Holy Spirit right away and then they got baptized afterwards. But I've seen so many things, so many examples like yesterday. And what was special yesterday was when I prayed for the daughter also before the baptism and nothing happened. She felt, she was crying. She was like, why don't anything happen? Why can I not experience God? <laughs> and 
And I stood there and I want her to experience God and she stood there and she really wants to experience God. But nothing happened. But when they understood the gospel, we went down in that water. Hallelujah. Have a picture here I took with them yesterday. Look at them. They were so thankful. They were so happy. They were so amazed. And their life got changed. And it became a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful testimony. It started with Olive Garden. And seven, seven hours later, Baptist at a hotel. And their life got changed. Why? Because Jesus had paid the price. It is finished. It is finished. But we now need to do it His way, not our way. Out there, do you want to experience God? Do you want to experience the Holy Spirit? Do you want to see your life change? And do you feel that you cannot repent? Repent from your heart, cry out to God like never before. And after you are repented, then be baptized in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let somebody pray for you because this is for you. This promise is for you and everyone. God bless you all out there. It was a beautiful day yesterday. And uh, you know we are moving and uh, we are tired. <laughs> now we are driving 10 hours today and then we have a meeting in San Antonio tomorrow evening. And then we are going to drive from there to Tucson, Arizona, having a meeting there. And then we are down in San Diego area, South California, where we are going to live. But come and meet us in Texas tomorrow. Come and meet us in a few days in Arizona if you are there. See more in the description here. God bless you all. Bye-bye.